There are usually a few different ways to export files or stems in all the different recording programs. And when we do this, we always want the files to start at the same place. In this case, bar one, beat one. Now we can do it in the way that we would say, take each track or group of tracks and select the export range. Let's say we want to send this track out. We would solo it, hit bounce. And because that range is set, we know it would start at beat one and we would choose the kind of file type and hit OK. I'm not going to do that this time. Or we could go over to File, Export in Logic, and do a host of other things to export files. But there's another way I want to show you, and that includes mainly just renaming files, renaming the region so that you can just leave them in place and you can just go into the audio folder, find those files, and then just pack them up and send them to your collaborator. But sometimes some things have to be done. So in the case of this vocal, Hi2, it's already a contiguous file. It goes from beginning to end without any breaks. So it would be easy. I can just right click on it and hit Rename Regions. And let's say, give it a name, all in caps, HiVox2. I like using caps because when I go to look in the folder later, I know that anything in caps is a final file that I'm going to use. And it's not a piece. It's not something I didn't want. It's not something I trashed. It's a real file that I'm going to use either in a final mix or as a reference file to give to somebody else. Then we have the track above it. I can't do the same thing with that because it's in different pieces. First, I have to make it into a contiguous file. And there's multiple ways to do this in multiple programs. But the other problem I have with this file is that there's no audio on beat one. Now, if we were exporting it in the other ways, the program would take care of that problem behind the scenes because I have set the export parameter. But with this renaming way of doing it, we can't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal a little bit of silence from another track. I'm going to take that little piece of silence and option drag up to here and copy it to this track. Now, when I select all of these pieces together and use the glue tool, which is the way we make a contiguous file in Logic. It will ask me if I want to create a file. I say yes, and there it is. Now I have a file starting at one, bar one, beat one, but it has a crazy name. So then I would just do the same thing. I would right click, rename the region, and in caps, I'll call it HiVox1. That will rename the region as well as the original file. And let's see if it didn't. Okay, look at that. So, didn't really. So I can go here and rename it here. Hi, Vox one Now I know that the original file is also called HiVox1. I look at HiVox2. Same thing, its parent file is not called HiVox2. I can double click, and call it HiVox2. And now when I look for that file in the folder, it's in caps, it's called HiVox2, the other one's called HiVox1. I would do this with all of the files. I would heal this file as well. I'd get rid of this little piece I cut and just heal it again and then go in. And this time I'll go straight to the file in this window, in the media file window and call it Hi. Fox 3. And that will change the file in the media window and on the track itself. So I do this with every audio track here. Of course, I can't do this with the MIDI files. I have to either export them as audio files or export them as MIDI files with the technique where we have to put a dummy note on beat one of every file that does not have a MIDI note starting on beat one. This is a way of creating one audio file per audio track. We cannot create a stem of a submix of multiple tracks. This is only one track to one file. We can't group tracks 
and then make a submix of them this way, just by renaming files. And even by renaming files, we are staying with the same file type as well. We can't change the file type either. 